welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Sandhi in Paninian Grammar. We continue studying Hal Sandhi or the consonant Sandhi. Hal Sandhi is the Sandhi that replaces a Hal. A Hal is a consonant. We stated that broadly Halsandhi can be classified into two, namely Ekasthanika Ekadesha and Ekasthanika Divyadesha. Ekasthanika Ekadesha is one substituent replaced by one substitute, and Ekasthanika Divyadesha is one substituent replaced by two substitutes. Ekasthanika Ekadesha is further classified into two Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha and also Para Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha. This we have to explicitly say primarily because of the use of instrumental case in order to indicate the environment which happens only in the Hal Sandhi. In the Ach Sandhi, the environments are clearly shown by the fifth case and the seventh case only. So, Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha and Para Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha are the other types of Ekasthanika Ekadesha. So far we have been studying some examples of Purva Paranimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha. Now in this lecture we shall turn our attention once again to an instance of Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha. Remember we have studied instances of Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha right at the beginning of the treatment of Hal Sandhi, namely in the sutras Stoho Shtuna Shchuhu and Shtuna Shtuhu. Now this is once again coming up primarily because there is this Purva Savarana Sandhi which can be classified under this particular classification Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha. This is diagrammatically represented in this manner where B plus A is the input, B is the left hand side environment followed by A and this A is substituted by C. This B is Purva and this is a Nimitta, this is one Sthani and this is one Adesha. So Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha. So B plus A is the input and the output generated is B plus C. Purva Savarana Sandhi is an example of this particular Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha. There are two sutras that we shall study in this particular lecture while dealing with the Purva Savarana Sandhi and they are Udasthastambho Purvasya 8461 and then Jhayo Honyatarasyam 8462. Let us first study Udasthastambho Purvasya. This is 8461 and there are three padas in the sutra. Udaha which is 5 slash 1 of Udd which means immediately after Udd. Udd is a preverb or an upasarga. The second pada is Thastambho which is 6 slash 2 of Stha and Stambh. These are the two verbal roots Stha as well as Stambh and Sthastambho means in place of Stha and Stambh. Purvasya is 6 slash 1 of Purva. Here 6 slash 1 indicates the meaning of. So Purvasya means of Purva that is of earlier or the previous element. 
the word Savarnaha 1 slash 1 is continued from Anasvarasya Yai Para Savarnaha and Savarnaha stands for homogeneous sound which is the substitute. Something peculiar happens in this particular sutra where the word Savarna which is part of a compound Para Savarna mentioned in the previous sutra is continued. So from within a compound only one component or the constituent is continued in this particular sutra 8461. And so the sutra has just Purvasya and Savarnaha is continued from the previous sutra. This is something peculiar. Having put all these meanings together, the meaning of the particular sutra we get is the following. Immediately after Udd, substitute the homogeneous of the previous sound in place of Stha and Stambha. I repeat, immediately after Udd, substitute the homogeneous of the previous sound that is the in place of Stha and Stambha. Similarly, we have another example Udd plus Stambhana of this same sutra. Here we have Udd where the comes at the end of the Pada followed by the verbal root Stambha. And so Udastha Stambho Purvasya applies over here and substitutes the initial consonant sa by the savarana, the homogeneous sound of the purva that is this the. We arrive at this particular conclusion with the help of the paribhasha adeh parasya which we discussed earlier as well while deriving uttana. So this sa gets substituted by the homogeneous of this the which is th. So we have udd plus th tambhana as the next step in the derivation process. Now here because of the environment of this th, this th gets substituted by th and then because of this th, this th gets substituted by th. So we have three takaras. Now we apply the sutra Jarojari Savarane because of which this second takara gets zero substitution or optionally deleted. So we have Uttambhana with three takaras or Uttambhana with two takaras as the derived output of this particular sutra. Now let us study the next sutra, Jhayo Honya Tarasyam. This is 8462. This sutra has got three padas, Jhayaha which is 5 slash 1 of Jhay and Jhay is consonants 1, 2, 3, 4, the columns 1, 2, 3, 4 and Jhayaha means immediately after Jhay. Haha is 6 slash 1 of H which means in place of sound H. Anyatarasyam means optionally. The word Savarnaha 1 slash 1 of Savarna which is a homogeneous sound and Purvasya 6 slash 1 of Purva of earlier or previous they are continued from the previous sutra. And so the meaning of the sutra is the following. Immediately after Jai, in place of sound H, substitute the homogeneous sound of the previous, that is Jai optionally. I repeat, immediately after Jai, and Jai is columns 1, 2, 3, 4 of the consonants, in place of sound H, substitute the homogeneous sound of the 
previous that is j that is columns 1, 2, 3, 4 of the consonants class consonants optionally. So, this particular meaning can be expressed in the form of an equation in the following way. We have j plus h where h is the substituent and jayohanya tarasyam applies and generates the output in the form of j plus consonant 4. This is optionally done. So, j plus h is another output that is generated. Now, when we say consonant 4 in place of h, there is a reason and this reason is the proximity in terms of the prayatna, the bhaiha prayatna. Now, if we compare the bhaiha prayatna of the j consonants as well as h, we find that the only consonant that matches or comes close to the prayatna of h is the fourth consonant. And that is what is stated in this line quoted here. Ghoshavatu, Nadavatu, Mahapranasya, Samruta Kanthasya Hasya, Tadrusho Varga Chaturtha Eva Adeshaha. So, her has got the Bhaiha Prayatnas namely Ghosha, Nada, and Sambara, and also Mahaprana. Now, amongst the four class consonants, only the fourth one matches with these Bhaiha Prayatnas. So, in the Kavarga, only Gh has got Ghosha, Nada, Sambar as well as Mahaprana as the Bhaiha Prayatna. So, in place of this H, Gh or J or Dh or Dh or Bh will be the substitute. Ghoshavato, Nadavato, Mahapranasya, Sambrata Kanthasya, Hasya, Tadrusho, Varga Chaturtha Eva Adeshaha. This is the guiding principle. Now, these are the jai sounds. Kakha gagha, chacha jajha, tatha dadha, tatha dadha, and papha babha. These are the jai sounds where we have consonants column 1, class consonants column 2, class consonants column 3, and class consonants column 4. This is how they were mentioned C 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, when J appears over here followed by H in the Samhita mode, this H is replaced by the Savarana of these 4. So, now there has to be one amongst these 4 which matches this H and that is what we said earlier. The only consonant among these 4 that matches with this H in terms of the Bhaiya Prayatnas is this Gh, C4, Gh, J, Dh, Dh and Bh. Only this matches and that is the reason why H is substituted by the fourth letter of the class consonants Gh, J, Dh, Dh and Bh respectively in these respective environments. We also note that these four consonants, k, k, g, g, they get replaced by the third of their class, g, j, d, d, and b. We have the sutra jhalam jashonte applying, and there are three padas in this particular sutra jhalam, which is 6 3 of jhal, all consonants minus semi-vowels and consonant 5 and jhalam means in place of jhal. Jashaha is 1 3 of jash which is the third consonant of the class. Jashaha means substitute jash. Ante is 7 slash 1 of anta which means at the end. Anta means end. Ante means at the end. Padasya is continued from 8 1 16. Padasya is 6 slash 1 of Pada, which means of the Pada. So, the meaning of this sutra is 
at the end of the pada jhal is substituted by jash jhal that is all consonants minus semi vowels and consonant 5 column 5 is substituted by jash that is column 3 we go back and so we see that these four they are also part of jhal and they appear at the end of a pada and then they get substituted by the third column that is this g j d d and b so we have k k g g plus h as the input jhalam jashanti applies and substitutes these four by the third namely g and jhayohonya tarasyam applies and substitutes this h by the fourth class consonant namely g so the output generated is g plus g then we have ch ch j j plus h as the input jhalam jashante applies and substitutes all these four by the third namely j and jhayohonya tarasyam applies and substitutes this h by j so the output generated is j plus j then we have t th d d as the environment followed by h and these t th d d sounds get substituted by d and this h is substituted by the fourth class consonant namely d as the output then we have t th d d plus h as the input t th d d are substituted by the third namely d and h is substituted by the purva savarna that is the fourth class consonant that is dh so we have dh plus dh as the output similarly p p b b plus h is the input and p p b b is substituted by the third class consonant namely b and h is substituted by the fourth class consonant that is b so we get the output b plus b these outputs are optional and what it means is that the g substitution is optional and so we can get g plus h as the optional output so here are the specific examples first k k g g plus h as the input and the output generated is g plus g optionally so we have look plus hali where k comes at the end of this pada followed by h at the beginning of this pada and so this k is substituted by g so we have lug plus hali now this h will be substituted by the purva savarna which will be g so we get lug plus ghali finally lug ghali similarly ik plus h and this is a compound so both are padas so this kh will be substituted first by g and then this h will be substituted by the purva savarna of g which is gh so we have ig plus gh ig gh then we have vag plus hari and here we have g being substituted by gh so we get get vag plus ghari vag ghari similarly we have ghag plus h and this gh is substituted by g and so we get ghag plus h first and then this h gets substituted by gh which is the purva savarna and so we get ghag gh ghag gh then we have the examples of ch ch j j plus h as the input and the output generated by the sutra jhayohonya tarasyam is j plus j optionally which means that the optional output would be j plus h 
So the examples are Ach plus Hal. This is also mentioned by Panini in one of his sutras, Na Jalau. So here we have Ch plus H. First this Ch will be substituted by J by Jhalam Jashonte and then this H will be substituted by the Purva Savarna which in this case is J. And so we have Aj plus Jhal as the output. Finally, we get Ajjhal as the derived output. This is optionally derived. So optionally we will also get Aj plus Hal. Then we have Uch plus H. Here Ch is followed by H. And so this Ch by the application of the Sutra Jhalam Jashonte will be substituted by J. So we have Uj plus H as the output. Then this H will be substituted by the Purva Savarna which in this case is J. And so we will get the desired output Uj. Similarly, when we have Ruj plus Hana, J is followed by H. So this H will be substituted by the Purva Savarna, Ruj plus Jhana. Finally, Ruj Jhana. Then we have Tathadadha plus H as the input and the Sutra Jayohanya Tarasyam applies and the output generated is D plus D. This is the optionally generated output which means that as the other option the output would be D plus H. Here are the examples. Tut plus Hina. This is the input where T appears at the end of this first pada. H appears at the beginning of the second pada. This is a compound. So there is Samhita mode which is obligatory. And so Jayohanya Tarasyam will apply. And before that Jalam Jashonte will also apply. So first this T is substituted by D. So we have Tud plus Heen as the output. And then Jayohanya Tarasyam applies and substitutes this H by the Purva Savarna which in this case is Dh. So we get Tud plus Dheen and Tud Dheen as the output generated. This is optional. So optionally we will have Tud plus Heen. Next we have Oot plus Heen and this Th is substituted by Dh first Jhalam Jashonte. So we have Ud plus Heen as the output. This becomes an input for Jayohanya Tarasyam and this H then gets substituted by the Purva Savarna of D which is in this case D. So we have Ud plus Dheen and so we get the output generated namely Ud Dheen. This is optional. So the other output that will be generated is Ud Heen. Similarly, we have lid plus hasa as the input and this d is the environment in which this h will now be substituted by the savarna of d which in this case is d. So we get the output lid plus dhasa, lid dhasa. This is optional. So optionally we will also generate lid hasa. Next we have Tatha Dadha plus H as the input and Jayohanya Tarasyam applies and the output generated is the plus D optionally and the optional output would be the plus H as well. So we have It plus Hetu and T will be first substituted by D. So we have Id plus Hetu. Then this becomes the input for Jayohanya Tarasyam where H is substituted by the Purva Savarna of the, which in this case is the. So we have the output generated Id plus Dhetu, Id Dhetu. This is optional. So the optional output generated would be Id Hetu. Similarly, Kath plus Hina. 
th will be first substituted by the. So, we have kad plus hina as the output which becomes an input for jayohanya tarasyam which substitutes this h by the purva savarna which in this case is dh and so the output generated would be kad and dhina that is kad dhina. This is optional so the other output that will be generated would be kad dhina. Then we have pad plus hati, pad plus hati where h will be substituted by the purva sabarna of this the by the application of the sutra jayohanya tarasyam and so now the output generated would be pad plus dhati that is pad dhati. This is optional so optionally we will also get pad plus hati, pad hati. Then we have yudh plus hina where dha will be first substituted by dha by dhalam jashonte. So we have yudh plus hina as the output which becomes an input for jayohanya tarasyam which replaces this ha by dha and so we get the output yudh plus dhina. So yudhina this is optional so we will also get yudh plus hina yudhina as the output generated. Lastly we have pa pa ba bha plus ha as the input and the output generated is ba plus bha optionally. So optionally we will also have ba plus ha as the output generated. Here are the examples. First we have gup plus hasa pa is substituted by ba first by the application of the sutra jhalam jashonte. So we have gub plus hasa. Now this ha will be substituted by the purva sabarna, sabarna of ba, which in this case is bha. So the output generated by the application of the sutra jhayohanya tarasyam would be gub bhasa, that is gub bhasa. This is optional. So optionally we will also have gub hasa. Then we have tuf plus h and first f is substituted by b by the application of the sutra jhalam jashonte and then this becomes an input for the sutra jayohanya tarasyam. So this h will now be replaced by the purva savarna which in this case is the savarna of b which is b. So we will have tub plus b as the output generated which is tub b. This is optional. So the optional output generated would be tub ha. Similarly tub plus har. Now here ha will be substituted by the purva sabarna of ba which is bha. So we will have tub bhara, tub bhara, the output generated. This is optional. So the other optional output would be tub har. And finally, rib plus hasa, this bha is substituted by bha first by the application of the sutra jhalam jashonte. So we will have rib plus hasa, then this becomes an input for jayohanya tarasyam, which substitutes this ha by the purva sabarna of bha, which is bha in this case. So we will have rib plus bhasa, that is rib bhasa as the output generated. This is optional. So the other optional output generated would be rib has. To summarize, we studied the purva savarna sandhi with some details, the meaning of the sutras, the anuvritti, the words continued from the previous sutra, etc. We studied the examples, the template ones first and the specific ones later on. These examples especially of Jayohanya Tarasyam are not found at all levels. There is redundancy as far as the mention of the sounds is concerned because 8.239 applies in almost all the cases of 8.462 first and so the number of substituents 
gets reduced to only one. This is an important feature of this Purva Savarana Sandhi. We continue to study some more instances of the Hal Sandhi in the coming lectures. Thank you for your patience.